morning. I'm inside today because it is storming outside. So I brought my junk in here. Um, I want to talk to you about the Wave 3 catalytic heater today. Um, this is a really cool little heater. I originally got it because at the time I was camping out of my topper in my pickup and I wanted something that was going to heat the back of the pickup up. This was way too much. It was way too much. This little sucker heats about 130 square foot and it does. Last winter the power went out. I hooked this deal up, set it in my kitchen, closed off the doorways and this thing was perfect for that blackout. It was awesome. Um, you do need to have some good airflow. Um, it's a 3000 BTU catalytic heater. It weighs just a little bit over nine pounds. Um, it heats up to 130 square foot, I already told you that, um, with radiant heat. Now it does use oxygen from the environment, so that's why I said you want some good airflow when you're using this heater. But other than that, I love it. Um, quick price real quick, I will drop the link in the description, the Amazon link. They, Amazon usually sells these for $359. Today, I went and checked it out, it is 5% off, so they're asking $342.30. Now that's just the heater. So I also got these little, you, these are extra, these little legs and this extra hose here. Um, but if you go to the link, you know, you can go down to the whole buy all three and you can get all three of these for $407.58. So don't need that anymore. Okay, this cool little heater that I'm probably gonna sell because like I said, it was a little bit too much for what I needed. I went and got a buddy heater and that was about about right for me, but I might keep it too. It is really cool for blackouts. So I got it hooked up. I'm just like tank over just a little bit here. All right, we're ready to start this thing up. So what you want to do is there's a start button over here. Um, start switch. Sorry. It has start and off. It has low and high. And then this little red wheel right here is going to be your ignition button. So what you got to do first is push, make sure that it's on start, make sure this is on start, make sure that your gas is on, and you're going to push this in and hold for 10 seconds to make sure that the gas goes through the line. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, do you guys count Mississippi? Okay, after your 10 seconds, what you wanna do is reach over to this little red start button and click it once. Oh, you might have to click it more than once. Mine went ahead and lit up on the first time, first try. Then you wanna to continue to hold the start button in for 45 to 60 seconds. So we're gonna do that real quick. After your 45 to 60 seconds, you want to turn the start button to high, not low, high. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Awesome. And you want to keep it on high for at least 10 minutes. Oh, I didn't have it all the way on high. There we go. Now she's going. I can really feel that heat. I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but it's starting to get pretty red and, and starting to glow. You want to keep it on high for 10 minutes, and then you can set it to low, medium, wherever you need it. This little deal is an awesome heater. I love it. I mean, the heat is, I can feel it clear out here, and it's just getting started. Um, I do have it hooked up to run on the, the larger propane bottle, which if you're going to use this for your camper, for a living quarters horse trailer, or maybe even like a small shed or shop or whatever. Absolutely amazing. This is the Wave 3. They do have a Wave 6 and a Wave 8, so they do get larger. Um, I have nothing bad to say about this little heater. It's really cool. It also comes with, it, it does not come with, sorry. You can also order an additional dust cover for it. Um, and when you're done, you just go ahead and flip it to off, turn your propane off, and she's ready to light the next time. If you keep it hooked up, you don't have to wait 10 seconds on your start the second time. You can just do the whole five seconds because the gas should already be through the line, I guess. I don't know. That's just their rules. Comes with instructions. Read them.
So, would I buy this again? Abso stinking lootly. I'm probably not even gonna sell it just in case there's another, you know, power outage. So that's all I gotta say about that, folks. Have you, hope you have a good one. Bye.